For those about to rank, we salute you. <laughs> Alright guys, so in this video, I wanted to rank the album covers from the Bon Scott era of ACDC. I did a video ranking the Bon Scott albums from ACDC, but I'm somebody that really loves album covers and album aesthetics in general. You know, the general theme of albums, I think it really is important to how much I enjoy albums, which sounds kind of stupid to be honest, but for me personally, I have found that the general aesthetic and vibe and artistic, you know, direction of an album really does impact the way I feel or, you know, the, how much I like an album in a way. I mean, there's some albums for sure um, that have terrible album covers that I like and vice versa, but for me, when an album has a really good aesthetic and the music is great or not even that the aesthetic is you know good in a general sense it just has to fit the music sometimes it depends but it's extremely important to me and I value it a lot so I love getting deep into the album covers and the general overall artistic uh, direction of an album so we're going to be doing all the albums from the Bon Scott era the international Australian and European releases, whatever they have, there's a total of 10 of them. So here we go, starting with High Voltage, the Australian release. To me, <laughs> this isn't that great. It's not bad, the, the logo for this album is absolutely amazing. I almost wish this was the ACDC logo, but of course we have this one right now, which is the iconic one. But this is the one they had before and I really like it. I think it works perfect. I think it's better than this one, to be honest. So it goes to number one for right now. All right, now we have the Australian release, TNT. Now this is a pretty generic cover. It has the same ACDC logo as the high voltage one, but it's definitely not as good. It's just not as good. It's a little bit boring. I get what they're going for with the wood and the dirt for TNT. I'll give it credit for being a little bit unique in that it has the name you know, the band name and the album title twice. That's kind of unique in a way. I, I think that's cool, but yeah, it just, it's boring. That's for sure. And I'll just say for one that I love the color choices for the first album, High Voltage with the orange and the yellow. I think it works really well, especially with the orange in the little, you know, in the, in the ACDC logo itself. I think it's just perfect. All right, next we have the American or international release of High Voltage which this is a pretty good album cover for me. I mean, it's unique. It has Angus, you know, playing the guitar right there with his tongue like, like that. And you have the lightning right here. I actually like the logo too. I like the font for the high voltage and ACDC. It's not my favorite ACDC logo, but it's unique. I, I like it. I think the gray cover and you know, how his picture is like brown and stuff. It's not the best. It's not the best. I think orange definitely works better. But it definitely gives it an old school vibe, which this album definitely has. So it helps the general aesthetic. But I honestly prefer this one. But yeah, it's definitely above TNT. But yeah, it just it doesn't it doesn't quite cross the original high voltage. That's a good album cover. All right, next we have high voltage, the European release. Now this is totally different from anything else i mean this is just something you would not expect from acdc it almost seems like something from like a disco record you know it's crazy i i just i can't wrap my head around it but i love it <laughs> it's just so not acdc that it that it's so cool you know i love the pink i think pink works really well for acdc we'll see that here later on with dirty deeds but i think pink works really well i just love the colors but it's a little bit too much i would say is it better than TNT? Yes, it is. Absolutely. It's definitely better than TNT. It's definitely a lot more interesting. I love how they have Bon Scott right here and then Angus in the back. I think it's really cool. Is it better than the original uh, American or international release of High Voltage? You know, that's where it gets tough because this one's kind of iconic. This one, it's not as iconic. And I try to think, like, does the music really <laughs> reflect this album cover? And I just don't think it does, you know? Personally, I like it more. I wish that was the album cover, but I don't know if it would, you know, it's kind of silly. So I don't know if it, they'd be taking it seriously if it wasn't this one for the international release. So I think I'm going to leave it at three just because I think the other one is more important and it's better for what 
that album needed. I think this would have been really good for like Let There Be Rock or something like that. I'm not sure. but Or Dirty Deeds maybe. I don't know. But for high voltage, it's not the best. All right, then we have the Australian cover for Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. It's really cool. I love the caricature right here. I love how they have, you know, it just gets that dirty, grimy feel. They're in a bar or something with the pool table. I think that's really good for what the album's going for. The logo here is very interesting. It's not the best, but it works. I love how you have Angus doing this or whatever he's doing. It's a good album cover. It's good. Is it better than TNT? Yes, absolutely. Is it better than this one? Is it better than High Voltage? Yeah, actually, I think I am going to put it above High Voltage. It's a good one. It's a good album cover. But is it is it better than the uh, International High Voltage? Um, that's a little bit difficult. I, you know what? I'm going to say yes. I think it's really cool. Um, all right. So is it better than the Australian High Voltage? You know what? I'm going to say no because I like the logo on this one better and I like the colors better. This one's cool, but it's a little bit boring. I wish there was like something on the wall or something like that. So I'm gonna leave it right there. All right, next we have the international version of Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. This is one of my favorite covers for sure, right off the bat. It's better than TNT. And I guess because of that, it's gotta be above high voltage, the European version. You know, for me, what makes this cover great is the vibes. I love the pink. Now, it's not the best ACDC logo. It's actually probably one of the worst because it's so boring. But the fact that it's in pink is just amazing. Obviously, this pink version is way better. But I love the vibe of how they're at like a motel and stuff like that. It just works perfectly for ACDC. It's like perfect, you know, with the, the bar vibe and this motel vibe. It's perfect for that album. I think this cover fits the album perfectly. I don't think this vibe fits the album as well for Dirty Deeds. So this is better than High Voltage for me. And it's better than the Australian version of Dirty Deeds. So let me move those. But is it as good as the Australian version of High Voltage? You know what? Man, they're pretty much tied in my mind because of the logo on the first one is way better than this one but i love the pink and the whole album cover is generally more interesting so i'm gonna have it above high voltage it's a good album cover it's really good all right now we have the australian version of let there be rock i absolutely love this album cover it's very cool it just it makes you think of like that you know, we're just taking rock back to the basics, you know, like, like Let There Be Rock. It's just the white and black and then the ACDC logo is so cool. I wish they used that in other places. I think the font for Let There Be Rock just works. Apparently on Wikipedia, it says these are not Angus's, Angus Young's hands. This is someone else, <laughs> which is interesting. I didn't think about that. I just figured it was his, but I actually, I actually really love this. It's better than TNT. It's better than high voltage. It's better than the second high voltage. It's better than this one. And it's, is it better than high voltage? Yeah, it's definitely, it's, de it's I'm putting this at number two right here. Now, is it better than Dirty Deeds done dirt cheap? <sighs> you know, now is it better than Dirty Deeds? Um, probably not because it's not quite as interesting, but the logo is, you know, if they would have done this logo right here, oh my gosh, that would have been amazing. And in pink, oh, but I really love this album cover. Now we have the international version of Let There Be Rock, which I think has one of the best pictures of the band, you know what I mean? But I just, you know, this is the introduction to the now iconic logo that they have right here. And I just don't like it that much. I don't like the red and yellow, although I think with the neon, this is one of their best logos ever, so that's why I have it up here. <laughs> I just, I really love the aesthetic of the newer album. But we're not doing the newer album, this is just the Bon Scott albums. But this is my, like, this is perfect ACDC for me right here, the neon. But yeah, I just don't like the red and yellow. It doesn't work. I just don't like it. I don't think. It works good on the album cover in a certain way, but I just don't like this logo as much as the other ones. It's just not as creative, but it's still good. I Again, the album cover is great, but it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite. Is it better than TNT? Yes. 
Is it better than this one? Mm. I'm gonna say yes just because it's so iconic. I, I I like it better. Is it better than American High Voltage? Yes, I would I would say so. It definitely is. The logo is better than that logo for sure. <laughs> is it better than Dirty Deeds, the Australian version? Um, I would say yes. This is a good this is a good album cover. I just don't like the logo that much. Is it better than this high voltage? Yes. Now this is where it gets tough for me. Is it better than you know, because I'm pretty sure, you know, I don't like it as much as Dirty Deeds, the international. So is it better than the Australian Let There Be Rock? I think the Australian one is a little bit too basic, and this one's pretty iconic. That that is a tough choice. That is a tough choice. But yeah, I'm gonna put it just a little bit above the Australian one. I think it's a little bit better. All right, now we have Power Age, which is, if you watched my last video, my favorite ACDC Bon Scott album by far. <laughs> it's amazing to me. Um, I really love the logo right here, and I love the font they use for Power Age, but I feel like this was just kind of thrown together a little bit. I mean, it has a cool picture of Angus Young. I like having the wires through his sleeves right there. That's a really cool idea. And I love that they use a gradient on Power Age. I love the the yellow to orange uh, colors that they use. I think that fits the album really well. This cover fits the album extremely well, but I, I think that it, you know, I think this album, I've always thought that I think this album's cover has held it back from being as iconic of an album as Let There Be Rock or let's say as uh, Highway to Hell. I mean, you see that? I mean, this is an iconic album cover. It's on t-shirts, mugs, it's on everything. But I don't think the album is even close to as good as Power Rage, and I think that's one of the reasons probably why this album isn't as iconic, because the album cover just isn't as iconic. They probably should have had Angus right here with the band members in the back. That's what I'm thinking right now. I'm not sure, but it's still a really good album cover. It's better than TNT. It's better than High Voltage European. For me, it's better than this one. These, these are the two most similar, I would say. You know, it just depends on what you like better. I like the black compared to the gray, and I think just having him, you know, like that. They have like an orange, you know, tint to Angus. I think it's just a little bit better, but they're very similar. For me, I like it better than this one. Now, this one is interesting because it has that same orange and yellow gradient, and I would say it's a little bit better because of, you know, I think the logo is basically just as good. And I like that they have a band member on it. So it's above that one. Is it better than Let There Be Rock? Oh man, I'm not sure about that. Because this this Let There Be Rock is just pretty unique and interesting. But you know, I'm going to put it above it actually. I might regret that later, but I'm going to make it above that. Is it better than this Let There Be Rock? I'm going to say so. I'm going to say so. I really like it. But is it better than Dirty Deeds? I just can't say it is. It's not as interesting. I like the pink in this one. I just think this is a really good album cover, and this is not quite as good. It's so close, but it just doesn't have as much going on. It's close, though. All right, the final one. We have Highway to Hell. This is a great album cover. It's obviously iconic. I think the logo is a little bit better than Let There Be Rock because the red is darker. So I don't mind it here actually. I really like the font they used on Highway to Hell. It's definitely better than TNT. It's definitely better than this one. It's better than this one. <laughs> it's better than Dirty Deeds. It's better than High Voltage. It's better than this Let There Be Rock. I think this is the one to compare it to the most because it all has the band. They both have the band right there. Um, yeah, I think it's better. I think it's better than Let There Be Rock. I mean, you have Angus making this face. <laughs> you have Bon Scott. You have the other members in the back right here. I just think that's iconic. It's a great picture. It's a great picture. Is it better than Power Age? 
I, you know, I think it has to be because it's just I love having the whole band right here. It's it's a great picture. It really is. They chose the perfect picture for it. And obviously, it's just been iconic since then. I think Power Rage is a little bit silly compared to this. So yeah, it's definitely going to be above Power Rage. But now here's where, you know, the final showdown. Is it better than Dirty Deeds? Oh man, it might be. And the only reason I say that is because, again, I love the HDC logo in pink here. But I don't like the logo and the font that much. I think it's just boring. This is a very tough choice because I'm I'm just so partial to this album cover. I love the Dirty Deeds album cover. Um, man, you know what? I think that I think that Highway to Hell is gonna be number one. It's a difficult decision, but I think it, I think it belongs there. It's just so iconic. But man, does ACDC have some good album covers or what? A lot of iconic stuff from them. Yeah, so here we go. Highway to Hell is number one for me. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I'm a little bit surprised about that, actually. Um, yeah, I've, I've always thought that Power Rage is obviously my favorite album from them, but I just think that it's not, the, the album cover is not quite as good as the other ones. So it's close. It's up there, though. And honestly, it's almost tied with Let There Be Rock for me. I love, and honestly, I could probably put Let There Be Rock above it, but I just think the only reason I put Power Rage above is because I think the aesthetic of it fits the music so well. And this does too, but I think this does a little bit better. So, yeah, so TNT is at the bottom. <laughs> I just think it's a little bit boring and bland. It's a good idea though. I, you know, it's when you think of, oh, you know, the album, it's an ACDC album, it needs to be named. It's going to be named TNT. What should we do? This is exactly what you'd come up with. So it's good. And I really like this one. Actually, it's so unique and different. And I really like this one, actually. It's just a little bit too different and not really fitting the vibe of ACDC that much. You know, I, I don't know. It's just it's not as good. Yeah, you know, it's I'm pretty comfortable with where with where everything ended up. So yeah, let me know your ranking down below if you want to. I'm actually very interested to hear about it because you don't see a lot of album cover ranking videos on YouTube, so I wanted to do that. It's something I'm really interested in and passionate about. So if you're passionate about it too, let me know because I, I'm honestly interested in what other people think about the ACDC album cover catalog. I'm planning on doing the other ACDC albums and they're, you know, ranking them and also their album covers, but just haven't gotten around to it yet. So this is where I'm at right now. It could change any time, so I might make another video in the future. You never know. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.